be for uh, perca uh, press and for nation. PN. PN. Uh, PN. Yeah. So first, I'd like to congratulate you. You've uh, made history by presenting the sixth consecutive budget. Uh, my question has already been taken by another friend. Uh, I want to know that uh, you're talking about income tax demands, as Sir explained Sanjayji, that uh, there have been uh, about uh, the borrowings is 14.13 lakh crores, and this, uh, your effect is 3.8 CR. So wouldn't it affect, and wouldn't be a come uh, like in the future? There are a lot of quotes. You said that you said that's going to be people are going to say, okay. Wave of our demands. Is this not going to set a wrong? Uh, means I don't know what should I call it, ma'am. See, as I mentioned to you, most, this should not be seen as a waiver. Because, as I mentioned in the year 10 11, we shifted our records, which were previously maintained at zonal levels or state, state levels and which were, you know, mostly paper records. Or if they were, you know, computerized, then, you know, they were held, you know, in computers locally. There was no central record. So in the year 10-11, we shifted this centrally to our central processing center now in Bangalore. A lot of those demands, you know, which are over there, they have actually been paid for by the taxpayers. Because when we reach out to them and we tell them, you know, this is a demand, this is a small demand, of course, but they say, well, you know, we have already paid it. But the records were not with us because they were all decentralized. And so uh, mostly these demands are actually not existing. They are existing on paper, but they are not actual demands. They are mostly fictitious, and they are not going to yield any revenue. Some of them, of course, are very, very small, one rupee, two rupee, you know, less than ten rupees. So it's not a waiver. That's why Honorable FM in her speech has not called it a waiver. It's just a withdrawal. It's just a correction of entries. Uh, Ma'am, shall we conclude or you would you like to take one or two questions? No, just go to a different area. Yes. We go to the middle row. Yeah. Yeah. No supplementaries. <laughs> and now please confine to one question now, all of you, the three of you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, congratulations to you and everybody. Karishma, this side from Business Today. Ma'am, if you look at the Manrega allocation, if you see the trend for the last few years, whatever has been budgeted, usually the revised allocation goes, of course, slightly a bit more. And if the trend carries on, it could be seen in FY25 also that you may have to allocate more in the next budget. I'd like to understand from that point of view, Ma'am, is the center happy with the way the scheme is working, especially in co cooperation from the states? First of all, Manrega allocation is not done on the basis of a trend. It is based on the demand coming from the ground. That is one answer for your first question. But on your second, much more than me commenting, CAG has commented on the way Manrega is operating in some states where claims are all uh, reaching a stage where they need to be verified. Are they really existing people in the ground? Are people not really those for whom the payments are going? And questions critical to the very spirit, letter and spirit of that program. So to that extent, the CAG reports themselves highlight where course corrections will have to happen in those respective say, states. I'm not saying a problem existing in one state is the same across the board. Some states may do with some kind of a problem, some others do with other kind of problems and so on. So that has to be addressed differently from are you gradually coming down in terms of allocation. You're putting two and two together which may not be right. Ma'am, hello, this is Surbhi from Business Today magazine. Uh, Ma'am, I wanted to understand by when will the white paper that you have announced be, uh, come out and will it be done by the finance ministry? And secondly, Ma'am, on CapEx, do we uh, foresee any uh, slowdown in CapEx this fiscal because we have about two and a half, two months left now and we'll have the model code of uh, conduct coming in. So that... No, no, no. <laughs> but, yeah, of this fiscal. So just wanted your thoughts on that. Thank you.